Hello everyone, this is NAI here, and in today's tutorial, I'll teach you how to create the spiral comma logo in Affinity Vector Studio, formerly known as Affinity Designer. This logo is made of six comma-like shapes and is inspired on the yin and yang figure. All right, so to get started, we go to Found New and we create a new composition. We go to View, Guides, and we add horizontal and vertical center guides for the composition. And then we're going to start drawing the figure. So we take the ellipse tool, we set the fill to none, we leave the stroke as black, and we set the stroke width to 10 points. And then we draw an ellipse, and we give it 120 by 120 millimeters in dimensions. So we need the size to be, be able to be divided by six. And then we center it in the middle of the composition. And then we're going to need some smaller circles. So we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And we set the size of the duplicated circle to 20 by 20 millimeters. And then we position it in a way that the top extremity of both circles snap. And then we're going to need two more of these small circles. So we unselect and reselect it, not to reapply the scaling down transformation. And we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And we move it down until it snaps to the first circle. And then we press Ctrl J again to power duplicate. So now we have all the small circles that we need. And then we're going to need some more circles. So we select the larger circle. We press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And then while holding Shift to press the proportions, we scale it down from the midpoint at the top until it snaps to the intersection of these two small circles here. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it and we scale it down while holding shift until it snaps to the intersection here. And then we press on Ctrl J one last time and we scale it down while holding shift until it snaps to the bottom of this third circle here. All right, so now we have all the circles that we need and we can create the logo. So we select everything. We take the Shape Builder tool we set the action to plus and the cleanup to none. And we connect this comma shape here, this comma shape here, and this comma shape here. And then we switch to minus and we remove everything else. So now we have created our three commas. We press on Ctrl G to group them together. We go here to move tool settings. We check on Enable Transform Origin. We position the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on Ctrl J to duplicate. And we rotate it by 180 degrees to have the other half of the logo. All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You learn how to create a spiral comma logo in Affinity Vector Studio. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.